What is going on guys? It is Mr. Seven here and today I'm gonna to make a quick little YouTube video because there was a update for Phasmophobia. As you can see on the screen here, uh, this is also a heads up or reminder uh, that if you go to twitch.tv slash mr 7 x 7 later today when this video comes out around 3 p.m. Eastern time we'll be live streaming but we're gonna go over the patch notes today and then uh, you just see see what happens. So I hope you join us later on Twitch. But without any further ado, let's get into the patch notes. So it's a major update. So it says, welcome back. We've got an update for you. With all the recent paranormal interference, the weather around certain locations has become more hazardous and intense. Ghosts have been haunting locations longer and longer each night, with some disappearing just before the sun comes up. Will you brave these new conditions? Okay. Guess that just means weather changes, right? We'll see, though. With this update comes a host of small features, improvements, and options. Additionally, there will also be another larger update in the near future to add more features and surprises. Okay, that's cool. So, uh, currently, person directing the page is the limit. Okay, I don't think I'm doing that. Uh, from now until early January, you can take part in the holiday event. So and earn yourself a unique holiday trophy for your collection, as well as an exclusive 22 ID card and badge. Okay, sick. So we already have the Apocalypse trophy, so I guess this is another one we can get. Uh, reward changes. Custom difficulty. We with the addition of custom difficulty, we've seen so many exciting, unique, and challenging games being created. But we'd like to redirect what the purpose of customs custom games is and there are several reasons why oh okay we'd like custom difficulty to be primarily used for fun and interesting games with unique twists similar to other games with a custom games mode without the worry of how much you're getting out of it okay so they're nerfing rewards is uh, it's very difficult to balance each option's rewards to have a corresponding and fair reward multiplier because of this it's incredibly quick to create games that are potentially much easier and faster than their default difficulty counterparts, but give the same or even more rewards, which makes the default modes redundant. That is, it is true. They need, they definitely needed to be toned down because it's a little ridiculous. You can get to like fifteen times, no issue. Uh, really, with three evidence, I think you start with zero sanity, but then you could just take pills. You never get hunted, and you get so much money. It's, it's, it is a little out of control. With our analytics and player data, we can see that a large majority of players still play intermediate and professional. That's surprising to me, actually. Professional makes sense. But why why play intermediate? What's the what's the benefit of playing intermediate? Do they just not know what the difference is? Having a set reward per custom option makes them very fragile and limits what we can change for the default difficulties or any future difficulties like that in the game. Lastly, with the large upcoming changes with Progression 2.0, we'd like experience and money to be gained fairly for every player and try to avoid any cheesy reward tactics if we can. That's fair enough, you know? Although, again, it doesn't really seem like it matters that much. Who cares how much money you have? It just means you can play more? I don't really, I don't really get that. The level, I mean, if you want to cap people's levels. But again, I play solo all the time. Nobody even knows what level I am. Whatever. Uh, because of these reasons, we're making the following changes to custom rewards. Custom difficulty will now have an 80% reduction applied to the reward multiplier? 80%. We know this is a huge change, but this should separate custom games into a challenge and fun mode and keep the default difficulties as the main route for character progression. In the second part of this major update, coming soon, TM... We'll be adding something special for those wanting a regular harder challenge than Nightmare and something super special. Okay, that's interesting. Current and future challenges like the Apocalypse Challenge will still be accessible and custom will still grant the trophies. So you just get a lot less money and experience, but you can still get the trophies, so that's fine. Uh, and to compensate, investigation bonus, to compensate for the above changes, we're adding some additional rewards for playing well in the default difficulties, which will reward players who have the sharpest eye for ghost identification. Okay. We'll also be changing the rewards for secondary objectives to encourage players to complete the primary objective each game instead of ignoring it. 
is the primary objective not identify the ghost? Or do they mean... Uh, I don't... To, to encourage players to complete the primary objective each game instead of ignoring it. Is, I don't understand what they mean by primary ob objective, because that's got to be identify the ghost, right? And who ignores that? Uh, added payments page to the journal. <clears throat> investigation bonus, sorry. Uh, um, investigation bonus, if you can identify the ghost correctly and escape alive, you will double the money and experience you earn for the primary and secondary objectives you Okay, so primary objective is not identifying the ghost. Because it says right there that they're separate. So I, I guess they just mean whatever the first objective is. Interesting. If you manage to complete the above, but additionally collect the bone and fill your journal with three-star photos, you will gain an additional sum of money and experience on top of the investigation bonus. They're putting value back on photos. That's good. I like that. It, it makes... Honestly, that change alone... To people who care about doing that kind of thing, to care to make that more money and more experience, whatever, that change alone will make people play individual games longer, which equals more playtime overall, I would think. But uh, secondary objectives have the rewards reduced, uh, reduced to make way for the investigation bonuses. Secondary, okay. Again, I'm not entirely sure what they're meaning by primary and secondary objectives. I wish I would give an example so it's more clear, but I'm just not familiar with what the terminology is, I guess. Investigative bonuses are affected by the difficulty multiplier, which is nerfed to shit, so sick. Oh, we have redacted stuff here. Okay, so we're getting into the ghost-type changes. So spoilers, if you don't want to know and you want to experience it, I want to know. <coughs> I don't have a problem with knowing. I want to know what to change or what to, you know, adapt. Uh, hunting ghost model flickers are now synced across all players, which should also help hunt photo reliability. That's awesome. I did not. I didn't realize that's why photos are so weird, but that's good. When hunting, ghosts now affect lights in the same range as equipment if on the same floor. And then what's this? Oh, it, te it just tells you the range. Okay, that's fine. So all ghosts, 10 meters, Raiji, 15 meters. I thought it was doubled, but it's not. Uh, rates have been adjusted to match their journal description better. Wraith will never step in a salt pile. Interesting. So if you wanted to do a wraith test, you would just take a salt put it down and the ghost would step in and he would take a photo and not get footprints and you would know what's a rate. So what do you do now? Hey, this is just a waiting game. Did the ghost step in the salt? You could just put like, you, you figure out where the ghost is, where the ghost is being active and put salt in like choke points, I guess. Obake have finally remembered how to shape shift. Interesting. During a hunt, Obake have a 6.66% chance each time it flickers to shapeshift into a different ghost's form. They will then return back to their original form. That's really interesting. It instantly gives away when it's an Obake, but that's interesting. This is guaranteed to happen at least once per hunt, so keep your eyes peeled. I don't love that. I don't love that it's guaranteed to happen. Um, because here's, here's why. If you take the Banshee Scream as an example, so that's a, an ability a Banshee has that the other ghosts don't have. And I believe, and I could be wrong about these numbers, that it's a one in three chance when you're holding the paramic, if the ghost speaks to you, that it can, uh, scream if it's a Banshee. Otherwise it'll whisper. Um, so two out of three times it'll whisper. So there is potentially a chance that you could stand there and get 10 whispers in a row if you're really unlucky. Um, and then leave and have it still be a banshee. Uh, I like that. Uh, I, like, I have problems with it, but I like the, the fact that it's not, you're, you're not just like, oh, I'll just get a paramic and we'll find out if it's a banshee or not. This is like, oh, I'll just get a hunt and we'll see if it changes because it's going to change once. I, I don't really like that. 
I wish they would remove the guaranteed thing. I like the transforming thing. That's totally fine because all ghosts have tails. That would just be the obakes. It's the same as if you get a hunt at the beginning of the game or whatever. You haven't found the ghost room and it's super fast. Oh, it's a they. Or it's super fast and it slows down when it gets to you. Oh, it's a Dio. Like, they give themselves away, right? A lot of ghosts do that. But guaranteed, I think, is not the way to go. But we'll see how it is. The Revenant. The legendary Revenant has been left behind in the ranks of new threatening ghosts, so we're finally returning some former glory to the Speed Beast, and adjusting how this ghost hunts, hopefully placing them back on the podium. That's interesting. Instead of slowing down instantly after losing line of sight, Revenant will keep their increased speed until reaching your last known position. Wow. Their speed will now decrease gradually over 2.7 seconds. 0.7 meters per second instead of instantly. So does this mean they get to, what would that be? Three. They get to almost 5 meters per second at their max speed? You would never survive that, but that's insane. That's really cool, though. As Goryeo have a history of disobeying their roaming changes, you're goddamn right they do. This is my most died to ghost for some reason. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, Agoryo, uh, have a history of roaming We finally put an end to their over-exploring ghosts. Goryeo can no longer change favorite room. Thank you. Fucking hell. So that's gonna be awesome, because... There, there was no discernible way to tell the difference between a Gorio and a few other ghosts during, like, no evidence, or even nightmare mode at some times. Uh, but I guess you could use dots in nightmare mode if you're patient enough, but still. Uh, in no evidence, there was no way to tell the Gorio away from other certain ghosts, so that's really cool. Uh, Hantu's sacred ability visuals have been adjusted. Full Breath will now play in any room during hunts with the Breaker is up, so not just the ghost room. That's good. Hantu cold breath visuals have been improved. We'll have to see that. I want to see that. Well, I might have to die to a Hantu. We'll see. Yuri can no longer use their ability when there is no door in its current room. Why do they hate the Yuri? What did the Yuri do? What did, what did the Yuri do to upset the devs of Phasmophobia? That poor Yuri. It just... My goodness. Give it some love. Uh, Unity rendering pipeline is updated. Okay, so this is all stats for nerds. Um, Fog is returned. Interesting. Fog will now be where it makes sense to be in the visual overhaul. Locations will start at the same temperature as clear weather. Oh, so it's up, this is like a weather. Okay, that's cool. Sunrise weather has been added. That's cool. Weather effects have been completely recreated from the ground up. Rain and snow have received large performance increases and improved visuals. Wow, I can't wait to see that. That's cool. New graphics options have been added. Skylight for enabling sun or moonlight in each location. Uh, okay. Green space ambient occlusion. Okay. Fog quality, fidelity, FX, AIFs can be better performance, only compatible with GTX 10. Okay. Anti-aliasing options is fine. You can now place crucifixes. When placing the crucifix, you can now see the range of its effect on the environment. Oh, that's really cool. I like that. No more guessing. Well, it would definitely be passing. I can't wait to play later. All post-processing effects have been adjusted and improved. Added the text option for voice recognition. This will show UI for selecting what question to ask. I have a text option for voice recognition. Interesting. That's kind of cool. If you swap to a new PC or reinstall Windows, your save will now revert to your personal cloud backup. Smudge Sticks burn effect has been improved. Go, cool, cool, cool. Haunted Mirrors effects and visibility have been improved. Okay. Glow stick model and effects. That okay, so we'll have to look out for the glow stick. Transparent objects and effects will now receive shadows from lights. Okay. Resetting your save file will now wipe your cloud back up. I, I didn't even know you could do that. Improved performance on campsite maps. That's really good. I really, I do have some issues on them. 
Fingerprints have been moved on willow doors to be more consistently placed. Okay. They do show up in some weird places. Radios are now interactable with the breaker off. What? What radios? Like the one you talk to your teammates with or the ones in the house? I didn't know they weren't. All players must now be further than five meters from the Ouija board before it breaks instead of just the person who activated it. Okay, so you can't just hit the Ouija board and run away next to your friend. Uh, the Ouija board will now auto-deactivate when walking outside the map. Okay. Well, okay. Sanity pills, so you can't run out of the map and break the Ouija board? Is that what that means? Sanity pills no longer disappear when using them. Instead, they now drop on the floor and are no longer usable. That sounds like clutter. Isn't it going to be messy? Oh, well. Who cares? It's probably fine. Improved all candle wax effects when lit. Interesting. I'll have to look for candles and they say glow sticks were changed. Improved two hiding spots in sunny meadows, one by the restricted area door and one in the restricted wing. Okay. Small tent cloth is now translucent. Okay. The average sanity objective will now complete at the same time for all players. The bone will no longer spawn inside of other objects. Is that what's happening sometimes when you can't find the bone? Tripods no longer count as electronic tools that are in the camcorder. Wid Willow windows are now the correct, correct way around. <laughs> Didn't know they weren't. The weekly challenge timer will now reset at the same time challenge themselves. Complete the data challenge weekly and I'll trigger one of the data challenges. Okay. You can no longer scroll to another item when placing something. Okay. Ghost will now. The ghost will now show on the board in the truck. The ghost room will now show on the board in the truck and training. Okay, I, I didn't. It's not play cool to me. I'm not going to. I don't think I'm ever going to do training again. Eugene Spirit Box reply will now work if you are not crouched. Is that why it was so rare? Because you could only get it if you were crouched? That's funny. The morgue door VR grab point. Okay, VR. Hit the crouch button. Hitting the crouch button, then physically crouching in VR no longer pushes you enough into the floor that the ghost can't follow. Okay. That's good. <laughs> you are so broken. That's funny. Computer monitors in, in prison no longer turn on when the power is off. The ghost repelled stat will now count if you're not the host. And setting that as a female hallway light switch no longer toggle the utility room's light. I, okay. There are no on off buttons are much clearer to understand. Eli, except uh, the objects move stat will now correctly count poltergeist throws. Dude, there's going to be so many. That stat's going to get crazy if you get a poltergeist. Your return will no longer break if you grab more than one item before joining the game. Room reflections will not be accurate if turning on the light and turning on quickly. Russian, Ukrainian, Fonts, so and all the last of VR, death, and spawns. Uh, and give feedback. Okay, so yeah, that, look, that all looks pretty cool. Uh, again, we're going to play later today. So it's 8 now for when I'm making this video. Whenever it gets uploaded, probably around 9. So yeah, somewhere uh, later this afternoon, 3 o'clock, around 3 p.m. Eastern time. Um, we'll be live on Twitch. Uh, link will be in the description, maybe on the screen. If I remember to put it on the screen, probably won't. But, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you join us for some of the new update fun. Alright, that's it. Later!